All right, let's get into it. Our next match is going to feature Gray from Russia going up against Dom from the United States. This is a real uh, Rocky Four type of setup here, huh? <laughs> wow. I did not expect this. This is going to be awesome. So we see in Gray. Gray, I think, was either number two or number three on the uh, on the leaderboard. Uh, Dom was also up there very high on the leaderboard. So we're going to see a really fun matchup. And I'm going to ask you, Aaron, as your final task here before you leave, just to read a couple of fun facts about these runners to get us going. Love it. Love it. Thank you Oops. for putting me to work, Coach. That. All right. So we got Gray started using SolidWorks in 2019. So you've got about six years under his belt. That's a pretty good amount of time. Plays percussion, loves rock climbing. And then we've got Dom, on the other hand, here also started in 2019. We've got contemporaries matching against each other. I like it. And an uh, entire adult career has been in manufacturing, which is near and dear to my heart. We are also in manufacturing. Love processes, love process development. Gray and Dom, good luck to you both. Yeah, good luck to both of our runners. And uh, any final thoughts here, Aaron, before you, I know, like I said, you're gonna have to hit the road. I wanna give you a chance to give any final thoughts to the audience, maybe a final plug for PDX. Toby, I just wanna say again, thank you so much for creating this amazing community. What a fun time here. Everyone gets along and supports each other. I just love that. Um, we all have so much more in common than, than otherwise. Um, PDX, again, October 21st and 22nd, just out of outside of Phoenix, Mesa, Arizona, technically. And uh, you can go to pdexpo.engineer to learn more about that. That's nice. pdexpo.engineer. And just thank you again, Toby, for having me on. And, and everyone who's a part of this, thank you for, for putting up with me here on the CAD versus CAD competition. Nice. All right. Awesome, Aaron. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this as well. And I think we are just about ready to get into this. All right. But we All are right, going to. everyone. Take care. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Good luck the rest of the competition. Yep. Great having you in here. Take care. And guys, we are going to get into it now with this next matchup between Gray from Russia and Dom from the United States, SolidWorks versus SolidWorks in this 2025 CAD vs. CAD modeling competition. And this next battle is going to begin in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? Wow, we are getting a lot of parts in IPS here today. I think that's the, that there's not many left that are IPS. We're getting them all right here at the beginning. What is the mass of this part? The material is ABS. The unit system is IPS inches and the density is 1020 kilograms per cubic meter. And we're gonna flip over and see how our runners attack this challenge. Wow, wow, wow. What a cool setup here. We got Dom on the right. Looks like he's getting into it, modeling up that hole up top. We got Gray on the left going through and modeling up the side profile of this thing. Looks like he's probably going to end up using a mirror. I really like that approach. I like using mirrors. And let's get into it here. Let's see how these guys are doing. Wow, wow, wow. Look at Dom going through and trimming that thing up and getting it right into position. But Gray, Gray is a very relaxed freelancer. Dom is a design engineer and a certified SolidWorks expert. Dom is so fast, Aaron C says in the chat. Yes, yes indeed. Wow, he's so fast with sketching, yep. And he's already got that first extrusion. We see Dom taking first blood in this competition, getting in there with some solid geometry. First one in there getting solid geometry. We see Gray hot on his heels, though, on the left, coming in with his own set of solid geometry. Yeah, we'll see which way is faster, exactly. Wow, so we see Dom here on the right, coming in, creating that kind of tab that's sticking out the front. It looks like he's already got it in location, but what's this? He's not seeing a preview. That's not good. See if he can figure it out. Looks like he was able to figure that out pretty quickly. Dom creating that tab there on the right, getting it into position. Looks good. Now I'm going to guess that he's going to be using some type of a mirroring command. There we go. I like that as well. 
And we see Gray on the left getting through and adding in those dimensions. Probably not the standard units that Gray is used to working in. I'm willing to bet that Gray is used to working in millimeters. So definitely uh, playing in unfamiliar territory here but doing a great job getting through it. And you can't see it here in the rendering, but on the back of this part, there is a little counter bore. And so we see that's what Dom is putting in now. He's getting in there and putting in that counter bore. And looks like Dom is opting to use the window select for the fillets. We saw that pioneered in one of our earlier tournaments doing the window select for fillets versus just picking up on the edges. And so Dom going through there and, and getting that final fillet that was on the back side of that thing, doing what we call the final spin, making sure that he's applying the correct material. Rambro's Workshop in the chat doing a flex saying, I got it. Window select for fillets is great, says Victor K. And Dom coming in with an answer. 0 0.587 pounds. And that is correct. And so congratulations to Dom. That is correct. Well done, my friend. And congratulations to Gray as well. Gray's right there. He's he's getting in there. He's adding in that final fillet. And uh wow. What a what an awesome match from both of our runners. I just want to kind of see here how Gray does and see if Gray is able to get that final fillet on there. But wow, wow, wow. There we see SolidWorks has that select through faces for fillets, which uh can definitely be problematic. 0.59. We'll have to see if he's able to uh, get that out to the correct uh, precision. But I'm willing to bet that 0. Point, he's also going to come up with 0. 0.587 here. Well done. GG to Dom. Dom is going to win that point. And Gray, it looks like your answer was probably correct. And I know that's a tough one. Yeah, GG to Dom. Exactly. Probably not the unit system that you're used to working in. And uh, well, what a great match there from our runners. Wow.